What's up everybody? Simple Pleasures here. Got some goodies to put on my bike. Just got back from vacation. This is going on my rear. It's a 223 rotor millimeter. So I'll have one up front and in the rear. Uh, another thing, blew my rear tire, like shredded it. So I just picked this up from my local bike shop, Trek. It's a Bontrager XR2 team issue. I don't know if you can see that, but it's more of a, I guess a cross country type, uh, you know, pattern, I would say. It's got the low knobs, but you know, for $39, I picked up two, why not? It's 27.5 by 2.8 wide. So that'll be a good, good addition. And so I got my rear rim off right here just going through it, making sure it's all sealed up because I am going to run tubeless. I did have a tube in here because my tire that I had on previously had a huge hole in it. And, you know, just checking out this rim, I heard a little bit of noise. And look at that. I got a loose spoke, but that's the only one out of all of them. I've checked them all. One loose spoke. So anyway, we'll tighten that nipple up right here. Um, noticed a couple dings. I don't know if you can see those. Let's see if I can find them for you. There's a small one right there. I don't know if you can see that. And I know I saw another one oh, right here. That's what you get for not running inserts. And you know what? I'm not running them. You know, I'm just going to run a little bit higher air pressures, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really still, still sold on the whole tire insert thing just for me you know my experiences it's been a mess it does save your rims but I honestly I don't care about these rims uh, I do have a new rim right over here when I do run this rim it's a little more pricey the Sun Ringle and I will probably run a tire liner with that once I do utilize that rim but for now this one's running good still holds air serves its purpose it's got that uh, eBay hub in it you know, still holding up, hasn't let me down yet. A couple of little, you know, just a loose spoke and a couple of dings on my rim from my last, you know, ride on vacation. You know, riding a big mountain, like a ski resort, that's, you know, the first time I've ever been on something like that, honestly. Um, I've been to Sky Park a couple times, but it's not the same thing. You know, that big heavy bike um, at those speeds and just the terrain, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna, Put some punishment you know on your bike and you're gonna have to go through it so that's what i'm doing right now i'm gonna put a new tire on here new bigger brake rotor and um yeah seal her up tighten that spoke and it should be good to go time I'm pouring directly into the tire I'm not going to waste time because this stuff is super chunky I don't know if you can see that this is the race sealant this stuff has like pieces of erasers in it and stuff basically yeah look at that just big old chunks of rubber all right now I'm gonna seat the bead put some air in it hopefully it'll hold all right got the tire mounted it's on the rim both sides you've all seen this before I'm going to remove my valve stem just so I can force the air into it really fast so I can seat the tire onto the rim you can pick these up at any hardware store or uh, sorry automotive store like AutoZone or whatever. But this one I, you know, got online. Valve stem puller. There you go. There's your valve stem.
remove that so you can force air to this as fast as you can with your compressor. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Hope this doesn't blow up in my face. There it goes. I only got 40 PSI in here, so I'm not going too hard. All right, that's pretty good. All right, reinsert your valve stem. It's down in there. Okay, it's all laid up. Make sure that's seeing it. Spread all around evenly. Give your tire spin, flip it around. You can actually hear those pieces of rubber rolling around inside there. It's kind of weird, but that racing lit, that's some heavy duty stuff. What do you think of that tread pattern? I know it's kind of low, kind of round, but it's a rear tire. Like I said, they were $39. That's why I got two. Looks pretty good. All right, let's put that adapter on and put the rear tire back on. Right, I almost forgot to address the uh, that loose spoke. So I have a spoke wrench right here. But this only gives me three options. Zero, one, and two. This is a park tool spoke wrench, but none of these fit these nipples. <laughs> They're a 14 gauge, I, be I believe. So I do have this kind and I'm not exactly sure. Bigger than your average bike spoke nipples. Sorry. Okay, so on this spoke wrench, size 11 is what's working for me. And it's honestly, I don't think it's perfect, but it's working. There we go. I'm going to turn that a few times, get that tension built back up. And I kind of just go by ear, like what do the other ones sound like? Let's see. It's almost like playing a guitar. Sounds different because of the pickup, I, I believe. Hear that? The pickup magnets on there. So that's pretty tight. Sounds good. I'll leave it like that. I'll keep an eye on it. All right, check your spokes. All right, so I'm still running that Crane Industries right here. Derailer dropout. It's holding up good. Looks good. Sits right in there, recessed in the frame. I know, funky design, but a little area right here where my chains came off a couple times when I had that, that bent chain link. Kept falling off into my frame. That kind of sucks, but whatever it happens. Just real quick, looking around while I have the rear tire out. Everything's looking okay. All right, let's put that tire back in there. And then we're gonna have to Change this adapter out. I got a bigger adapter for that 223 rotor. Doesn't look too bad. What do you guys think? Honest opinions. All right. Let's get that adapter on here. It's gonna have to sit up something like that. Big old adapter. Going from a 203 to a 223. Okay, we got a problem here. This pushed all the way down as far as that will go. 
Look at that spacing. And according to this model number, Galfer SB001, Galfer SB001, rear size 180 to 223. It's a plus 43 millimeter. And it's just not working. I don't know. All right. Let me see if I can get it to work. Okay, my bad. I think I was just setting it up incorrectly. And these go a little bit more forward than I thought. I think I had it on there wrong. My bad. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I was just being lame. I was putting it on. All weird, all wrong. I'm new to this bike stuff. Come on, give me a break. All right, so that's how it sits. All right, that makes sense. Cool. Big old 223 rotors. Rear and up front. This bike just keeps getting bigger and badder every day so check this out I just found this looking for some brake pads <sighs> it's exactly the same size crazy I had this all along I didn't have to buy another one but I didn't know I had it anyway what do you think black or gold yeah let's go with the black or orange or whatever that color is but exact same size that's crazy Fresh Loctite. Alright, here we go. Okay, I'm going to leave them loose. So I can get that wheel up in the air, spin it, lock the brakes up, and then tighten these down. You know that little game I play where i got to find exactly where that rotor sits. Alright, let's play that game. Alright, got the bike up in the stand. Honestly, I don't know how you would do this without a stand. Get yourself a stand if you can. This is the old Park Tools. You've all asked about it. They don't make it anymore. The PCS-1. But in order to do this, you know, correctly and easily, you need a stand so you can free spin your rear wheel. So like I said, I have these loose. So your caliper can float around. Now I'm going to pedal forward and hit that rear brake. You can hear it rubbing, hit that rear brake, hold it snug, nice and firm, holding that rear brake handle down, I'm going to turn these in, not too tight, just tight enough so they don't move, let go, now I'm going to give it another, okay, still rubbing, so let's do that again, loosen, Loosen. Tighten your brake handle. Hold it. Snug these up. Still rubbing. Sounds a little better, but it's still rubbing. Okay. It's a game, a little dance you gotta play. All right, I can do this all night. It could also be that these rotors are a little thick and they need time to wear in. So, just give it some time. All right. I'm not going to bore you with that anymore, but that's how you get your rotor set up and your caliper. So there it is. It's on there. 20, 223 millimeter rotor in the rear. Got a new tire on there. A little cross country action going on, but like I said, a $39 tire. Couldn't beat the price. I'll save my money, you know. And get another probably Maxxis 3.0. That's what I'd like to get. Got the 223 up front. Bike's still running great. 